welcome back. Hyunsoo Lee was only 17 years old when she fled North Korea after deciding that the brutality and suffering of the governing regime was too much to bear. Well, 12 years later, after some really extraordinary adventures, she came up with the audacious plan to smuggle her mother and brother out of the country across the border to China. Well, she spent her life trying to hide her identity and her movements from the government in Pyongyang. She's now published her full account of her story, The Girl with Seven Names, and she joins us here. Morning to you. Thank um, you. It's lovely to see you. you. Um, shall we just start with, a, with the first question, seven names. How, I mean, it's, I know it's a long story, but yeah. how have you had to have seven names in your life? Because uh, since after I left North Korea and in China, I had to live, you know, in difficult situation because uh, I was hunted by the authorities all the time because uh, simply because I was a North Korean defector yeah. and even I was uh, even caught by the Chinese police and one time luckily I was narrowly avoided being repatriated to North Korea by convincing them that I was actually a uh, Chinese citizen so after that because due to all the you know hardships all the, the difficult situations of surrounding me so I had to change my name constantly to protect mm -hmm. my identity because so I became the girl with the seven names and then which you know tomorrow will be published to my book and tell me about your name now because you've chosen this yeah, yeah name. this is what a, does it mean after in South Korea Hyunsoo because I want I lived in a really dark in my life until I come to South Korea so I want to have something different by choosing name like a more sunshine in my life normal dark or all the good luck from the world mm -hmm. all the towards me that's what I hope for that's why I made the name okay <laughs> yeah. it's I mean, if you want to leave yeah. North Korea physically it's not too difficult to do you have to sort of cross the river between yeah. North Korea and China it's once you've left that things get difficult because the Chinese, as you say, if they catch you, will send send you back. But you know, leaving escaping border is a such a difficult. So you need uh, you know take with your life to cross the border. So most of the factors, maybe more than ninety percent of the factors, it's really hard to cross the river because recently, even after the new regime change, the Kim Jong Un put more. Security. I mean, oh, more difficult yeah, you, to escape the border. Mm. But my case was a, uh, it's a very unusual situation, like in my family, because uh, we were we've been living near the border area, so we had all the good relationships with the border guards, militaries. So it was a little bit easier than normal people. Yeah. Okay. And we've got a picture of you as a young child uh, with your mother, which we can show actually. I um, mean, her eyes um, are, are pixelated in this picture to help protect her identity. Um, I'm not sure they are actually, but um, so you are, yes, you are protecting her identity even at this stage in your life. And why is that? Sorry. Why do you need to protect your mother's identity because, now? Because uh, mm, all the family members inside North Korea right now, besides my mom and brother, so they I need to protect their identity. I don't want to, by revealing something, sources, giving them, make them into a huge problem in North Korea. Yes. So I have a responsibility. Because that's you still I, have relatives yeah, yeah, in North Korea. Yeah, all every members in there. That's why I still, I can't show my mom and my brother's face. That's why I put in mosaic in the book. You, uh, you, you, you write in the book about how t very difficult things were mm -mm. when you were a teenager with the famine in, yeah. in North Korea. And people were starving yeah, to yeah, death right, right, and right. things were really breaking down. What is life like now in North Korea as far as you can tell? Our current situation? Yes. Yeah, I think one thing, you know, people missing one thing about North Korea. Many people actually talking about, well, yeah, during the famine, North Korean people suffered, but the situation, the things changed a lot right now. There's no people dying for star, die for starvation, you know, but which is not, it's not correct answer. I mean, what? Over the decades, what North Korea really changed. I mean, the major problems didn't change. You know, the dictatorship didn't change, and the the excess information we don't stay, we don't have it, and then the travel restrictions, and then public executions. We have everything, and the human rights situations didn't improve at all. But only you know, like superficial changes. I mean, there's North Korean regime adopted, for example, the te cell phone systems or something 
technology systems, but besides that, or fashion, besides that, the major problems didn't solve. And then people still starving. I mean, I saw, I have video in my house still. To, it was taken 2014 from my city. I saw there's a lot of beggars in the market right now. And then the people, the kids were dying on the street. I saw that the video, it was really shocking to me. It is happening, but not like a in the past, uh, during the 1995 to the, the end. So it's not as bad as then, but yeah, it's yeah, still, yeah. But, but it still is still happening. happening. Yeah, that's yeah. my oh, point. And you are trying to make things change, are you? Do you think there will be change? Yeah, I think, uh, but c in this current regime, it's hard to, you know, hope for, or ex it's a hard for guests to change, but yes. I mean, I'm sure there's another regime coming, but when the another regime, I can expect there's a better situation. I, because uh, we, I can't expect totally for unification, but the other regime, maybe the other regime will take the North Korea, but they don't want to maybe change a lot because uh, they don't want to also lose the power. So, but I believe they can do some reform in yeah, their okay. way as what Kim Jong-un doing right now right. slowly. So yeah, I think at the time, at least we can have a free relations, uh, travel each other, then yeah, this okay. is quite close to unification. I Fiance, believe. Thank yeah. you very much indeed for joining Thank us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. And the book